This week, me and you, we're going to be cooking spinach and paneer dal. This is a great alternative to your takeaway curries, and it's super easy, I promise you. You are going to need red lentils, curry powder, some chopped frozen onions, frozen spinach, a sweet potato, some garlic, vegetable stock cube, some tomato puree, and some paneer cheese. Kitchen kit this week is a wooden spoon, a normal spoon, a sieve, a kind of like frying pan saucepan thing, what? a knife, and your favourite mug. First thing you want to do is get your pan, stick it on the heat. Houston, we have a problem. Somehow I've managed to put the lock on the induction hob. These things can definitely happen when you're in a kitchen. Doesn't matter how many mission stars you've got. No, no, no. The technology can always get the better of you. Does anyone know how to turn the lock off? OK, let's have a go this one. Quiet, please. Silence on set. So the pan goes onto the heat. I'm going to put a splash of oil. And into that, I'm going to add one mug of frozen diced onions. And with your wooden spoon, give them a stir. Once your onions look like that, a little bit brown and tinged around the edges, turn the heat down, get yourself two cloves of garlic in the palm of your hand. Get your knife, chop it up rough. Put your fingers down one end, handle in the other hand, and then just rock it backwards and forwards. That way you're never going to cut your fingers, and it just chops up the garlic. And throw it in to the onions. Turn the heat back up just a little, and get yourself one vegetable stock cube, give it a little crumble inside the foil, and into that, medium curry powder, two tablespoons, all right? And then tomato puree, a big squirt, and then give it a good stir. The next thing to go in is a mug's worth red lentils. These are red split lentils. Measure out a mug. I'm just going to give them a quick rinse under the cold water tap, all right? And the reason I've done that is to wash off just a little bit of starch and give them a good start so when it goes into the pan, they straight away begin to steam and cook. And then on top of the lentils, two mugs of water. One, two. Give it a stir around. And then as that's going to come up to a gentle simmer, Get yourself your sweet potato and peel it. Throw them in. After 25 minutes, your lentil dal should look like this. Soft, squishy, and super delicious looking. And the next thing to go into it, some frozen spinach. Just give it a little chop and then throw it into the pan. And then the next thing to go in is paneer. Now, this is Indian-style cheese. Cut your paneer into chunks and then stick it into the dal. And that is it. We are ready to serve. Get a great big spoon into your bowl. And that is a spinach and paneer dal. Cost next to nothing, but, oh, my God, flavour-wise, is incredible. Go on, guys, get in there. Sweet potatoes not cooked. Sweet potatoes not cooked. Shut up. <laughs> Let me know how you've got on today using the hashtag Full Time Meals and follow our page where you can see loads more recipes. Mm.